Bitte schön. Hi. In an everyday walk of life, what problems do you hear the most? Oh, look, the weather is so dull again. Bruh, this coffee is so bad. And the most irritating of all, oh, why is my internet so slow again? Now, as an optic fibers engineer, I can't help you solve all life miseries, but I can definitely help you understand why your internet might be slow and how the future of internet is going to look like. To answer this, you first need to question what is physically bringing the internet to you. Let me give you an example. Let's say you decide to download the Matrix trilogy films in high definition. If you have a DSL connection at home, which is based on copper cables running from the internet provider to you, you need good two hours to download the movies. But if you had an FFTH connection, which is based on fiber optics, it does the job in 10 minutes. That's a huge improvement in your download speed. My question to you is, why is that happening? Well, you see, fiber optics uses light pulses to send our digital bits, whereas copper cables rely on electrical pulses. Light can be modulated at much higher frequency than electrical signals, which is why fibers carry a much higher bandwidth. If you think about it, Light, which is the fastest form of energy that we have on Earth, is being used for communications and has been a brilliant chapter in our history of telecommunications. But what if I told you there are still physical problems light encounters as it travels through materials? We will understand these problems by being a bit creative and looking at an analogy. Suppose that a group of cars wanted to travel from Bielefeld to Paderborn and started at the same point of time you might see that certain cars travel faster than the rest, reaching their destination at different times. In the case of an fiber, if you were to launch a group of different light wavelengths or colors, you might find that certain light wavelengths travel much faster than the rest, a phenomena we call chromatic dispersion. Remember the rainbow? And this reduces our ability to decode data bits. To make matters worse, even if you were in the fastest car, but on a road which was full of bumps and potholes, you might have to constantly deaccelerate, accelerate, causing fused loss, right? In the case of a fiber, if you have a lot of impurities and imperfections, your light suffers a huge optical loss. So how do we avoid these problems? If you think about it, light is free-spirited and loves to travel in free space. Thereby designing hollow core fibers, we have succeeded in sending light pulses through hollow tubes, which avoids all material-related problems and improves your data bandwidth. So in the future, we are determined to bring down your matrix download speeds to merely seconds. Thank you.